विद्या प्रकाशन मंदिर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड देयर आर टू सक्सेस देयर आर टू सीक्रेट्स टू सक्सेस इट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रिपरेशन हार्ड वर्क एंड लर्निंग सेट बाय जनरल पॉल 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 यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंडिया एंड हार्ड वर्क एंड लर्निंग सेट बाय जनरल पॉल 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 यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंडिया अदर लर्नर्स स्टूडेंट्स नो अदर गेट एक्साइटेड सीरीज ऑफ बिजनेस इंटरेस्ट पर एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर 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 एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू
revise it and then take a little gap of five, seven minutes and then repeat. More concentration and uh, correction will be needed. Revision is extremely important. We should revise the topics, whatever we are going to end of the day, so that it, that remains in mind. This is what I can teach you. Students will need to study well and stay focused. So now, uh, whenever we are going to uh, enter the examination hall, there are several things that we need to keep in mind. So uh, before going to the exam center, what are the essential things required by the students to keep in mind? Uh, so the school has been ever teaching them that certain things they have to keep in mind. They have always been very clear in the examination. They should not be that much scared that what they need to carry is a transparent uh, pencil box which they need to carry with their stationery in it and admit card and identity card of the school they should carry with them a transparent water bottle for water, a sanitizer and a mask they should wear because it is COVID time they need to take care of themselves before going to the examination center they should properly wash their hands with soap and water and then should leave with the devices all the schools are also taking of all such uh, COVID norms uh, which should be followed in the school itself. Parallel to my children, uh, you should have, you should reach the campus well before you. That is very, very important for you. And you should see that your roll number, check your roll number, check your class and feel comfortable say for about five, seven minutes in the campus and then reach to your examination hall wherever you may go. Okay. That will give you a lot of peace, comfort and confidence. Don't be in hush or haste. Sleep well before entering uh, a day prior so that you are in proper mode to come to school. So there are the proper state of mind yes. and of stress. So now the uh, next question is uh, do you think that students should practice or revise more? The books are immediately done. Practice makes the man perfect, I would suggest. And yes, because the questions are going to typically be good examination. Children who are further preparing for competitive examination also, they should practice more to different refreshers or any other books which they feel uh, are of their level. And uh, obviously, they will uh, get to know and will surely have better. Uh, the another question is now what are the extra tips to attend the paper and home exam? Because this is very important. Yeah, this is a very, very important question because usually what happens, children have prepared well, but sometimes it so happens that they are not able to give out that well in the paper because of this uh, stress which they have already taken in the mind of the whole examination. I would suggest as to whatever experience I have had including the corrections also in my life, wherever I have to uh, talk those papers also, I would suggest you to prioritize your attempts. Read the questions which you are doing the best, which should be attempted first, then the mid-blocker, and then the uh, least answers which you are not clear with that much, will be attempted later. Keeping in mind the prioritization, you have to first Use the first 15 minutes very, very dedicatedly. Your reading time is very important. That is your planning time also. So when you're reading the question paper, that time you need to see that what questions you are coming in first go and you are settling your time parallelly. Secondly, children, once you're through with the first 15 minutes, you are prioritized your selection of the questions, you start attempting it, your accuracy and your time, your speed matters. So your one eye should also be on the watch. While settling down your questions or settling down the answers to the questions, you should keep an eye on your watch that you are not spending too much of time on one question. Then, in the end, you should also remember what you should be able to save about 5 to 10 minutes for your revision. It usually so happens, children, that you have learned very nicely, but it so happens that on the first attempt when you see the question paper, because you are into a little 
stress you feel that you don't know the answer, but when you start writing, you start remembering that. And revision helps you. That very time, whatever the best answer is suited to you, you give an answer to that, surely it will be the best. Last thing which I want to communicate, children, do not get stressed with the questions you are not thinking. If there will be one to one questions in the question paper, keep them aside, see it later on. Don't take that stress on the first go of solving it. You will be able to manage it, whatever best you can give an answer to it in the end. But don't take that stress on the first two when you solve the paper. That is what the best is. Solve my very best. So, another question is very important because it is related to the parents. Because parents have always been the child. So, how should parents contribute during the board exam uh, period to write and assess their children? Sir, I have been principal, vice principal, senior coordinator. The role of the parent uh, during the board examination or the CS is really important, to which they are missing at certain places. First of all, uh, many parents I meet, they do not even know the schedule of the child. They are not knowing the venue, the date, the time the, the, uh, of the examination. So I request to my dear parents that they should know that when exactly their child is getting the board examination, what is his schedule, what examination he is to get into, on what date, they should know it, they should have their proper schedule with them also. Parents should emotionally support the child because the child is for the first time in state standard 10 getting the board examination, he requires a lot of support system which usually is missing in the nuclear families as to what the parents are working. I would suggest to those parents also, either one of them should be there with the child when the child is ready. Parallel schedule I have already told and I would also suggest the parents that they should not argue in front of the child during those days because it matters. The concentration or the focus of the child is perhaps when there is a lot of argumentation in the family, the emotional portion of the child is not settled. Even if the parent is arguing with the child, the argument should not go further. Means it should stop in a while because again the child's focus is not there. I would also suggest to the parents to have at least one meal together with the child. That gives a lot of support to the child. He or she will share. And after attending one hour examination, the parent should discuss what were his or her fears, what did he face or she faced during the examination time, how could he help or support. They should be always on the side of the child during those that particular month of examination. If they can take him off, if they are working, it would be wonderful. But if they cannot, still, Whatever best time they are forwarding to the child should be actually his best time. They should be for the moral support of the child. Schedules and dates are important for the child, but he or herself is in a panic. So at least they can doubly check that he is studying for the correct support and is going for the examination on the correct day to the examination center. They should also check on the sleep of the child that he sleeps well. Because if he's not having a sound sleep, obviously the next day he will not appear that well in the examination. So the atmosphere of the house is totally dependent on the family and the parent. And uh, they should pick an exclusive place for the child to study where there are no distractions. Parent also can check the child digital distractions. They should because they can keep strict check on the child which is required in this case. That is what I want So students will have the expert tips and advice in our place in the uh, by Associate Madhav Raman and which will definitely help you in securing your marks. So on uh, behalf of the International Liberation and all the students I would like to thank you ma'am for your precious time. And uh, dear students uh, if you have not purchased any copy
we have uh, max mass sample papers, then please do purchase as soon as possible from Amazon, Flipkart, or any websites. And all the best for your good in the afternoon. And with this, I'll